Howdy folks, I'm Red and this is Ultimate General Civil War. Now, the game's quite old, um, but there's not a lot to play at the minute. Uh, there's a couple of games coming out over the next couple of days uh, I will be having a look at, namely Commandos 2. But for the time being, I'm rather bored. I thought I'd just watch some stuff on the television and uh, uh, some Civil War stuff. I thought, oh, do you know what? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's have Pop at Ultimate General again, because it's actually a really good game. If I haven't played it before, it's about £20 on Steam at the minute. Um, and it's fantastic value for money. The campaign is extremely long, and the on hard level, it's, um, it's, a, it's a real good challenge. Uh, there are quite a lot of historical battles here. Bull Run, Shiloh, Gaines Mill, Antietam, um, Fredericksburg, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, and there's also uh, a lot of uh, custom battles that we'll be playing during the uh, campaign playthrough. So there's a lot of action, a lot of campaigns. Um, historically, they're fairly accurate, um, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to create a new campaign, and we are going to play union and um we've got a couple of options as to what we want to spend our points in and i'm gonna go for training our army organization for the first one and have free i rise mr president training and of announcing to the senate that i have satisfactory evidence Go back a minute to the logistics. Well, I'll mean, uh, put logistics and medicine and training and army organization. That should be okay. Um, we'll do Brigadier General because Major General is really, really hard. And it takes a lot of messing around, a lot of loading, a lot of saving, and a lot of micromanagement. And it's generally only because um, the numbers have changed. It's not because the AI gets any better. It's just... It's just can't have as many losses so i don't want to do that i want to just ha take whatever losses no saving in between the game unless i really have to and um we'll take the losses as they come so brigadier general uh politics economy good medicine training is that's great um logistics too we'll probably keep logistics at two for the entire campaign and eventually we get that reconnaissance up to four okay Oop. Brigadier general stick my name in there and begin so the first mission of campaign uh, is the battle of Filippi and it's a confederate held town and we start off with two groups of skirmishers and one brigade and uh, Zook and now I know there's a couple of skirmishers up on this hill uh, the small town to the west of the bridges is held by one brigade and there are two brigades in the town. There's a couple of skirmishers roaming around. We will take reinforcements uh, fairly soon. So I'm going to just move these skirmishers around. And I'm going to get Zook to go up the hill. And we'll dislodge these guys up here. Uh, actually, I'm going to try it a little bit different trouble is as soon as zook fires into these guys side i'm actually going to stop him from firing as well because these guys make the escape and it's you can't finish them off so i want to try to do as many casualties as i can because later on in the town they become a bit of a problem get zook up the hill i don't know what's going on here Get to sprint a little bit. I want to stick a volley into these guys. As you can see, a roped in unit is almost impossible to catch.
We'll move Zook down to this little orchard. Stay there. McHenry's in the town with 602 units. And we'll dislodge this guy out of here first. The reinforcements should be arriving fairly soon. There are a bunch of skirmishers running around here somewhere I'll have to deal with in a minute. Battle of Philippi was classed as the first is a um, reinforcement. Uh, it was classed as the first organized battle of the war. By organized, I mean probably where generals are involved and units or whatsoever. But the guys um, in this battle are pretty green on both sides, and at the end, at the end of the fight, there were actually no casualties. It's two lost limbs. And one of those guys that lost his limb went on to become... He made his own prosthetic leg. And there's the uh, skirmishers. We will have to take care of these because they will be a thorn inside. Hold our cavalry off there. And we'll move our artillery just west of the town. As soon as we get these guys to rope, set the cow. Yeah. Should be enough, hopefully. Bristol to deal with them. the end of this battle we will be taking Loomis's brigade and Walton's brigade into the campaign with us so we want to try to limit the casualties on these two brigades as much as you can Zook and these two it doesn't really matter too much although we do need to keep, to keep these two they will be important later so let's just kick Kenry out of town and he surrendered We'll send our cavalry up to this hill. And we'll get these surrendered units. Yeah. Henry's making a bit of a route. Let's go and cut him off the bridge to maximize the casualties. I don't really like the way these guys have treated up there. It's going to cause a bit of a problem. Gonna cause a major problem. So I'm gonna have to deal with the I'll have to take the cavalry up there to deal with that. Just gonna put these guys on the edge of town just out of range. So the Lord doesn't shoot them. They'll rotate Zook up. Try to do as much damage as we can as we can before he gets across the bridge. I wonder if put these units over there where they'll spot them.
Okay, so skirmish is gone, it's good. Just cavalry down here. Dart yep, closer. Keep on putting some volleys into my carry, make sure he sods off from there. I really want him there. We'll focus on the game without. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think he can use units that you've captured. Let's find out in a second. Yeah, you can, yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, they can stay there. That's fine. Which means you don't have to send our cavalry there. Just stick these up in the woods. Just slowly chip away at Root's brigade. Okay, looks like McHenry's going to try to take the bridge again. <laughs> We've roped it to root. Guys ain't gonna last very long. Yeah, look at so. Uh, let's get Zook into town. So we get to the town a little bit. The town does actually give you extra cover. 
hover the mouse over it gives you an extra 200% cover. Um, I don't know if that's 100% damage buff. I don't think so. As you can see, the cover's up to 90% now, which is good. Off blank, and they are being shot by artillery, which isn't good. Henry. I think what we'll do is uh, split off some scuba shells from Walton's Brigade because somebody's going to have to take the brunt of that artillery. Have to deal with Henry fast. Bad timing. Bristol is wounded.
that. Should be the end of that. Okay, well, that is phase one. Um, took a bit more casualties than I normally do, but we did a bit of damage as well. So on phase two, uh, it's about holding the town, but what we are going to do is we are going to relinquish control of it. Uh, I'll move the cavalry up there. Let's get our skirmishers back across the bridge. I'll put Walton on the south bridge, Loomis and Zuka on the North Bridge and I'll move both my artillery and my supplies uh, down to the south side. And what this should do is, with the artillery, uh, with the cavalry up on the hill, I should be able to see most of the map. And uh, with the artillery down here, they should be quite protected. And with the two skirmishers, where's the other skirmish brigade? They should be able to hold the south bridge long enough for reinforcements to arrive from the southwest. And then together we'll retake the north bridge while holding the south bridge. Let's just speed things up a little bit. So reinforcements have arrived, suppose that second. Move the artillery uh, across the river to the south. Supplies can go there as well. And we'll take the three brigades to the north bridge. I'd send Kolka to the centre, just in case they do make some headways along the bridge. But it looks like they're going for the north. This train is a bit of a pain in the ass, so what I like to do is just focus the artillery on the train. I think it's only artillery that can actually do damage to it. Uh, but once we take the town back later on, it does become a bit of a bit of a pain. It looks like they're going for the north bridge, so I'm going to send one group of skirmishers up. I'm going to rotate to the north side, because I don't want these guys to take too many casualties. So that's just going to cost us. And let's uh, let's get this brigade to get uh, a bit of a mosey on. Do you think I can send the skirmishes up here as well? 
something in it. It's just looking like that. So. Okay, let's send the scrimmages back. The brigade should be enough to hold that south bridge. And with Bruce and Bill Roy coming in. Yeah, he's having a bit of a spacky moment. Guys, because uh, the one in the background of
Uh, cavalry didn't do so well in the weeks. Fortunately, we're gonna have to be, be, uh, keep harassing them. These guys should be rubbed in soon. Yeah, we've lost our skirmishers on the south bridge, it's fine. is making his escape, trying to. I'm actually getting a little bit low on time, so I'm gonna have to make some headway.
is gonna be tight. This is gonna be tight. Had a stroke in this good. Uh, we just ran out of time there, which is good. But, uh, I think this is one of the uh, scenarios we can actually continue after the timer has run out. This uh, make a mess of Grant's division. Rack up the XP. Run, we're still red. Okay, I think they've had enough. 1,400 Union casualties versus almost 4,000 Confederate casualties. They lost 6 guns, 181 cavalry, 94 missing. Um, we had one officer wounded, one promoted, it's good. Walton's brigade did really well. Zook as well, although he did lose quite a few. Uh, picked up a couple of M1842s, sharps, sell them. Okay, good job, good job. Got a bit touchy at the end. I gotta be honest, with you, the time it was running out. I'm not quite sure if you take that town. If you don't take the town in time, I think it actually ends. Um, so it was really close. Okay, so we got one career point to three reputation points. Uh, with the reputation points, you can spend to um, buy things like weapons um, but we'll, we'll take a little look at that in a second and when with the career point you 
can put into something new. And I think I'll put it into um, probably. Let's have a little look first. Maybe training. Let's put it, let's put it into army organization. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, let's take a look at our army. So I want to pump these guys up to a thousand. I'm going to keep it on veteran so they retain uh, their experience for the battle. We'll take that up, oops. Take Walton up to a thousand as well. A veteran, yes. And we'll create a new division. And we'll get another infantry brigade. Yeah, and hopefully a second one if we can. Can't afford that. Um, uh, any money? No. Um, I think. I don't think that's going to be enough. And I would like a fourth brigade, but. Uh, I don't think it's possible. We will need a cavalry brigade as well. But the cavalry is quite expensive. Okay, we might have to leave it like that a second. We've only got 10,000 bucks. And a thousand men to recruit. Um, I might take this general actually. Gibson. I will put him in command of first division. And I think what we'll do is we'll rename these brigades uh, to first atomic. I think it's OMAC. Is that right? OMAC or oh, POTAMAC? Let's have a look. Yeah, P.O.T. or where you see. And uh, we'll rename this second zombie. And the artillery. Down second division. Um, now I could, I suppose, maybe. Sell it. Seven thousand bucks. I don't like to sell stuff until later on because uh, the prices go up and go down. Um, that's a while off, that is. So, and I got to put a point into these guys. As well, as you can see, you got grey areas, and this is pretty much the XP that they've got from the last battle. So, if you do, if you take it up to one and you press apply, it kind of solidifies. Them a little bit. Let's take it up to one next one as well. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, that'll do. How much is in it? Them thousand. Seven thousand. I want to sell those M18s, uh, 55s, because we'll be using them. Uh, I'll just leave it like that, I think, for a minute. That looks okay. I know in the next battle, it's a lot easier if you've got another uh, brigade. But, uh, yeah, we'll make two. Okay. I think, let's have a look what we've got coming up. So we've got a, a battle at Manassas Railroad Junction. And first bull run. So we'll tackle the... Um, 
Manassas Railroad Junction first because uh, when you do the side, uh, the smaller engagement, it actually has an effect on the grand battle. Um, so we'll do that next. Uh, I'll save it here and then I'll get the next battle up as fast as I can. Uh, if you liked it, if you like what you see in, give us a thumbs up and I'll do some more videos. It's going to take some time to do the entire campaign because it's really long. So I'll do like one every now and again. Um, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.